سکوبات چپتر کی شناد بان بلاو اینا قیبتی سکوبات و کمپاوند انترست چپتر کو حالو یقنا فینانشل مدماتکس قیبتی سکوبات و کمپاوند انترست فینانشل مدماتکس Learning outcomes, by the end of the lesson, learners will be able to define compound interest, calculate compound interest using step-by-step -step method, uh, derive the compound interest formula. Now, calculate the principal rate, durations, and amount. Uh, if money is borrowed or deposited in a financial institution, it earns interest. After a specified period of time at a stated rate of interest. And instead of this interest being paid back to the owner, it may be added or compounded with, thereafter also earns interest. Such interest is called compound interest. The period after which it is compounded to the principal is referred to as the interest period. Now, compound interest. We use the formula A equal to P bracket 1 plus R of 100 into bracket N. A is the amount, P is the principal, money deposited or borrowed, R is the rate, and N is the time or the duration. Now example number one, you are told find the amount. After two years, if shilling 10,000, is invested at 15% per annum or per year compound interest. Find the amount. Now, the P there is 10,000, the principal, 10,000. Uh, R, which is the rate, is 15% per year. And the time is T or N is two years. Now, I'll be using both step-by-step -step method and the, the formula. So if I start with the formula, this will be A, which is the amount, is equal to the principal, which is 10,000, into bracket, 1 plus R, R is 15, divided by 100, into bracket N, N is 2. So 10,000 into bracket, so the LCM of these two is 115 divided by 100, you get 1.15 then into bracket 2. So I will square 1.15 and then I multiply by uh, 10,000. So 1.15 squared, I get 1.3225. So this is 10,000 multiplied by 1.3225. So four zeros cancel the four decimal places, therefore you get 13. Two, two, five. So this is the amount. Amount. Now let me use a step by step method. Step by step method. Step by step method. Uh, I will first of all find interest of the first year. First year interest. First year interest. Uh, I is equal to PRT divided by 100, so P is 10,000, multiplied by R, R is uh, 15, multiplied by one year. You get two zeros, cancel two zeros, you get 150, 150. So this is interest, first year interest. Second year interest, Second year, interest. The principal this time will be P, 10,000 plus 150. We get 110,150. So the interest will be equal to 10150 multiplied by 15 divided by 100 multiplied by the second year. So one zero cancel one zero, therefore this will be one zero one five multiplied by one point five. One zero one five times one point five. I get uh, 
15 to 2.5 so this is my interest uh, second year interest so total interest total interest total interest total interest will be 150 plus one five uh, one five two two point five so you get if you add 150 you get uh, this was 1000 you get one five one five one five one five two two point five point five plus a hundred and fifty you get one five two two point five plus uh, I'm sorry this was one thousand five hundred one thousand five hundred you get three zero two two point five and then total amount amount is equal to principal plus interest the principal is ten thousand the interest the interest total interest is three zero to 2.5 when you add them together you get suppose be 31 I'm sorry so you get 13 1 no 13 2 2 5 13 2 2 5 13 22.5 13 22.50 it is 13 225.0 i'm sorry 13 225.0 so that is the the interest interest I said it is 1,500 no it is 10,000 times 15 out of 100 times 1 two zeros cancel two zeros there I got 1,500 and then 1,500 10,000 plus 1,500 will be 11,500 11,500 I multiplied by 15 out of 100 multiplied by 1 again I got uh, 115, 115 times 15, I got 16, uh, 725, so what I did is I added the 2, 1500 plus 16, 72225, and then I got plus 1500, I got, uh, I got 18, 225, and then I added the two. I added the two. That is fifteen one five uh, ten thousand plus one thousand five hundred. Then I multiplied by fifteen. Then I divided by a hundred. I got seventeen twenty-five. Sorry, this is seventeen twenty-five. Seventeen twenty-five. So once you add 1725 plus 1500, you get 3225, 3225. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. So this is uh, 10,000 plus 3225, and then I got 13225. So that is the amount using the step-by-step -step method. And uh, the step-by-step -step method and the general formula, 13, 2, 2, 5. Example number two. 
Example number two, a customer deposited shilling, uh, a customer deposited shilling 10,000. A customer deposited shilling 10,000, which is the principal amount. So principal amount is 14,000. Uh, time, uh, the, uh, the rate is 12%. Then compounded quarterly, uh, the time is one year, compounded quarterly, then n will be equal to four, four, four interest period. This is four interest period. So you just say a is equal to p into bracket one plus r of 100 into bracket n. This is 14,000. Uh, this will be one plus the multiplied by 1 over 4, multiplied by n, you get 14,000 into bracket, by 2, 1 by 2, you get 3, that is 1.03 into bracket 4. So therefore, I multiply 1.03 uh, power 4, I get 14,000 multiplied by 1.122 uh, 55 you multiply this one by 10 14000 14000 times 1.125 1255 i get 15 757 so that is also the Amount. You are told find the accumulated amount. That is the accumulated amount. Example number three. Example number three. A man wants to have shilling 30,000 in eight years. How much money must he invest now if the rate is the rate is 7.5% per annum. So we know A, the amount is 30,000. The principal amount, we don't know the principal amount. We know the rate is 7.5%. The time to N, which is uh, eight years. Then we are told to calculate P. So you just say A is equal to P, one plus R of 100 into bracket n so this will be 30,000 it p into bracket 1 plus 7.5 divided by 100 8 so this is 30,000 is equal to p this is 1.075 uh, into bracket 8 into bracket 8 so therefore P will be equal to 30,000 divided by 1.07 uh, power 8. Power 8 will be 1.075 power 8. Power 8, the answer will be 1.78 1 uh, 35. 35. So I divide 30,000 divided by 1.7835 I get the principal amount will be 16820 so that will be the principal amount the principal amount is 16820 16820 Next, the last question, find if 20,000 is deposited for three and a half years, compound interest. What we do here is, we know, we don't know A, we know the principal amount is 20,000, and uh, time, or N, we have three and a half years. The next one is, R is 10% per annum. So A is equal to 
P which is 20,000 into bracket N, N is, let me just use a 3.5 then. N is 3.5 years. So this will be equal to 20,000, uh, 1.10 into bracket 3.5. Now using the calculator, I'll just say 1.10 power 5, power 3.5, I'm sorry, is we have one, we have 20,000 bracket 1.39596. So if you multiply this by 20,000, time is 1.39596. You get 27,000. 27. As well, we can use, we can use another way. Second way is, I will separate the two. I'll separate the two. What I will do is A is equal to 20,000 bracket 1 plus 10 over 100. And instead of 3.5, I'll be using 3 this time. So this will be 20,000 bracket 1.1 power 3. You get 20,000. One point, this will be 1.331. I hope so. That is 1.1 1 .1 power 3. Yes. Three zeros will move the points. You get 20 multiplied by 1331. 3, 1. You get 2, 6, 6, 2, and then 0. Uh, let me find now the interest. It will be 26, 6, 2, 0 times uh, 10 out of 100 times half. That is the remaining half. So you cancel these two. And then by two, one by two, you get one, one, three, three, one. And then you add two. So amount will be equal to 26. 26, six, two, zero, plus one, three, three, one. You get 27, nine, two, and then zero. So that is both method, uh, just one and the same. Okay, I should so quick yet. Inshallah, I'm beloved on Ashurka, a Kuhiga.